Okay, so you know how we were talking about uh, getting organized. Yeah. Like really getting a handle on all the moving parts of uh, contracting work. Right, like wrangling clients and jobs and invoices. Yes, yeah, exactly. And maybe even a team on top of all that. It's a lot. Yeah. And the sources you sent are full of stories from contractors who are, you know, live in that reality every single day. Absolutely. And a lot of them are finding that the old ways, like relying on spreadsheets and sticky notes, just aren't cutting it anymore. Right. It's like trying to build a house using only a hammer, you know. You might get there eventually, but... It's going to be a bumpy ride. To say the least. <laughs> so what's the solution? These sources point to tech and more specifically to contractor management software. Is that the magic bullet? Well, there's no single magic bullet, but the right software can make a world of difference. Okay. I like where this is going. It's about working smarter, not harder. Hmm. 100%. And one platform that kept popping up in what you sent was SendWork. Their Lovo, a house combined with an apron, definitely caught my eye. What is it about them that seems to resonate with contractors? Well, from what I've gathered, SendWork is really focused on solving those everyday pain points that can make a contractor's life, well, kind of a mess. Okay, like what? Give me an example. Missed appointments. You know that sinking feeling when you realize you've double booked yourself or just completely blanked on a meeting? Oh, yeah. Been there, done that. It's the worst. And it's not just the lost time. It's the ripple effect, right? Scrambling yeah. to reschedule, potentially losing a client's trust. Not to mention the hit to your income. Exactly. So SendWork tries to nip that in the bud with their scheduling and reminder features. So no more frantic phone calls or those little scraps of paper with appointments scribbled on them. In theory, no. It's all about keeping you organized and on track. Okay, so that's scheduling streamlined. Mm -hmm. What else? What about the financial side of things? Because chasing down payments, that's a whole other level of stress. Oh, absolutely. And SendWork tackles that head on too. They've got automated invoicing, payment tracking, and even integration with Stripe for that extra layer of security and I think client confidence too. It's funny you mentioned Stripe because I actually just read that they're adding more features specifically for like contractors and freelancers and stuff. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. It's like they know exactly what we need. Well, that's the beauty of technology, right? It's always evolving. Okay. So back to SendWork. It sounds like they've got scheduling and invoicing covered. What about staying organized on the go? Because let's face it, most contractors aren't exactly chained to their desks all day. Right. You're out there in the field getting things done. And that's another thing the source has highlighted about SendWork. It's mobile app. You can manage pretty much everything from your phone. Scheduling, invoicing, even get this. Real-time analytics. Hold on. Back up. Analytics. I would have pegged that as a must-have for your average contractor, but now that you mention it, Right. It's huge. Being able to track your time, see which jobs are the most profitable, make informed decisions on the fly. That's powerful stuff. It's like having a business advisor in your pocket 24-7. Exactly. And it takes the guesswork out of running your business. Data is king, as they say. But let's get real for a second. Not every contractor is running a huge operation with multiple crews, right? Some are solopreneurs just starting out, trying to keep their heads above water. Is something like SendWork realistic for them, too? That's a great question. And honestly, that's something I was wondering, too. But from what I've read, SendWork is designed to be scalable, meaning it can grow with you. Whether you're a one-person show or you've got multiple teams, you can customize the platform to fit your needs. So it grows with you. That's a big deal, especially for someone who might be a bit hesitant to commit to you know, a whole software system. But let's talk about the elephant in the room, the cost, because these types of platforms can be pricey, which might be a barrier for some. I agree. Budget is always a consideration, especially when you're just starting out or, frankly, even if you're not. But here's the good news, and this is straight from the sources you sent. SendWork offers a free trial. No way. Really? Yep. No strings attached. You can take it for a spin and see if it's the right fit for you. Okay, that's a pretty low-risk way to test the waters. But do we have any proof that this thing actually works in the real world? They do. One of the sources you sent featured a contractor named David Barclay, CEO of Barclay LD. He said that SendWork has been a game changer for his business. Okay, so not just marketing speak, there are actual happy customers out there. Tell me more, what did SendWork do for him specifically? 
For David, it was all about streamlining his operations and freeing up more time to focus on his clients. He went from, in his words, drowning in paperwork to actually having the breathing room to connect with people and build those relationships, which, let's face it, is crucial in any service-based business. That's huge. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's about more than just getting the job done, right? It's about building a successful business that allows you to thrive, not just survive. Exactly. And that's where having the right tools can make all the difference. So left paperwork, more client time. It's got to be music to any contractor's ears. Yeah. But this David guy, he runs an LED company, right? What about other trades? Is send work just for electricians? That's a good question. And it's something I was curious about too, but the sources actually highlighted how versatile send work is. Oh, really? Yeah. They gave examples of plumbers and HVAC techs, landscapers, even just general contractors, you know? So it's more about the nature of the work than the specific trade. Yeah, exactly. It's about managing projects and clients and teams efficiently, no matter what you're actually out there building or fixing. Makes sense. So let's say you're a contractor listening to this and you're thinking, okay, this sounds promising, but where do I even begin? What advice would you give them? What are some key things to consider when choosing contractor management software? Well, first off, I'd say don't get too caught up in the bells and whistles. Right. It's easy to get distracted by the shiny new thing. Exactly. The key is to figure out what you actually need to solve your specific pain points. Right. Because software should make your life easier, not more complicated. A hundred percent. So start by asking yourself some questions like, where are the bottlenecks in my business? Is it scheduling? Is it invoicing? Is it communication? Or something else entirely? Once you know what needs fixing, then you can start looking for software that specifically addresses those things. That's such good advice. Don't just jump on the first flashy thing you see. Yeah. Really think about what you need to make your business run smoother. And don't be afraid to think long term either, right? Oh, absolutely. You want software that can grow with you. Exactly. Because the last thing you want is for your software to become another obstacle down the line. Right. It's got to be able to scale with your business. Okay. So you've identified your needs. You've thought about the future. What's next? Mm -hmm. How do you actually go about evaluating different platforms? User reviews. Oh, yeah. Nothing beats hearing from the people in the trenches. Right. People who are actually using the software day in and day out. So read those reviews carefully, see what people are saying about the ease of use, the customer support, the value for money, that kind of stuff. And don't be afraid to dig a little deeper than just the testimonials on the company's website, right? Exactly. Branch out a little, look at independent review sites, forums, even you want the unfiltered truth. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Precisely. And while we're talking about making life easier, integration is a big one, right? Because the last thing you want is another system that doesn't play nicely with your existing tools. A hundred percent. You're trying to streamline things, not create more work for yourself. So check if the software integrates with your accounting software, your payment gateways, maybe even just your calendar app. Yeah. No one wants to be stuck doing double data entry. Exactly. And on that note, speaking of things that make life easier, yeah, a user-friendly interface. If the software is clunky or confusing to use, chances are you're just not going to use it. Yeah, even if it has every bell and whistle under the sun, if it's a pain to navigate, it's a no-go for me. Exactly. And that's where those free trials we were talking about, that's where they really come in handy. It's like taking a car for a test drive before you buy it. Yeah. Exactly. You can kick the tires, see how intuitive it is, and whether it's a good fit for you and your team. And while you're doing that, don't forget to check under the hood, so to speak. Specifically, the customer support. Because even with the best software in the world, Questions or hiccups are bound to pop up. Right. You want to make sure you're partnering with a company that's got your back should you need them. Exactly. Look for responsive, reliable support, ideally with multiple ways to get in touch, whether it's phone, email, or live chat. Whatever works best for you. Now, before we move on, I have to ask about something that I think often gets overlooked. Yeah. Price negotiation. Ah, yes. Because a lot of contractors, especially those just starting out, mm -hmm. might assume that the price is the price, you know, take it or leave it. Yeah. But is that always the case? Not necessarily. A lot of software companies, especially in this space, CRM, field service management, that kind of thing, they're often open to working with you on price, especially if you're a smaller business or just starting out. So it never hurts to ask. Exactly. You might be surprised at what kind of deal you can swing. That's a good reminder. Okay, so we've talked a lot about choosing the right software, but let's zoom out for a minute and look at the bigger picture. Does using any of these platforms actually move the needle in terms of like 
actual business success? That's the million dollar question, right? It's all well and good to have fancy software, but does it actually make a difference to your bottom line? Right. And thankfully, the research actually backs it up. Okay, I'm all ears. Give me the numbers. One study I came across, they found that adopting CRM and field service management software led to significant improvements across a few key areas. Okay, like what? Well, a whopping 40% of the benefits were attributed to, get this, increased efficiency. 40%? That's huge. It's massive. What else? Another 25% came from enhanced team collaboration, which makes sense, right? Yeah, totally. When everybody's on the same page and communication is seamless, things just tend to flow better. Exactly. Okay, what about the client-facing side of things? Any improvements there? Absolutely. 20% of the benefits were linked to improved customer experiences. So happier clients, more repeat business, it's all connected. Exactly. And if that wasn't enough, the remaining 15% was attributed to good old-fashioned business growth. It's like a domino effect. Right. You improve efficiency, which frees up time and resources. You enhance your team's ability to collaborate. And bam. You've got a recipe for success. And happier clients along the way, which is always a bonus. Who doesn't love that? Exactly. It's about creating that positive feedback loop where each improvement kind of reinforces the others. Love it. But before we get too carried away celebrating with our newfound efficiency, we've got to remember that software isn't some kind of magic wand, right? Right. It's not about replacing us entirely. Exactly. It's a tool, and like any tool, it's only as good as the person using it. Couldn't have said it better myself. It's not about replacing human connection or expertise or, you know, good old fashioned hard work. Right. All the things that got us into this mess, I mean, into this business in the first place. Exactly. But it's about working smarter. Not harder. Which is what we keep coming back to. Right. It's a theme. Hmm. But used effectively, these tools can be, like you said, game changers for contractors. Absolutely. They can free up your time. They can reduce stress. And maybe most importantly, they can empower you to focus on the things that really matter. Like your craft and your clients and actually building the business you envisioned when you first started out. Right? Oh, exactly. So as we wrap up this deep dive into the world of contractor management software, I'm left with this thought. Imagine if you could reclaim even just 5% of your time each day. Wow. By automating tasks and streamlining your operations. Yeah. What could you achieve with those extra hours? those extra days, maybe even those extra weeks. That's incredible when you think about it that way, isn't it? It's really not just about the software itself, but unlocking that potential, you know? Yes. And breaking free from all those little things that bog you down and keep you from, you know, doing what you actually love. That's what it's all about. And on that note, we'll leave you with this final thought. The right tools are out there, ready to help you build the contracting business of your dreams. That's true. Until next time.